Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform your own photo into a pop art poster, just like the paintings by Andy Warhol. I created this poster of Lady Gaga based on Warhol's portraits of the iconic people he painted at the time. I'll walk you through each step so you can create your own Warhol painting too. We need to isolate her head from the background, so we're going to make a selection. You can choose whatever method you like to make the selection, but we'll use CS5's new Quick Selection tool. Go to the Quick Selection tool and make sure it's the middle icon, the one with a plus sign. Go to the top of the head and click down with your mouse or pen. As you do so, it'll select the entire face. Then go to the top of the window and click Refine Edge. The Refine Edge window will open. Each photo has its own attributes, so the settings I'm using in this tutorial may vary from your own photo, but the process is the same. Make sure the Smart Radius is checked and slide the radius so you start seeing a little feathering around the edges. Click on the Refine Radius tool and start painting around the edges of the hair. To prevent the colors of the background from contaminating the hair, check Decontaminate Colors. And then slide the amount until you start seeing the fringed colors disappear. To make the quick mask into a selection, press the letter Q. We're going to save it by going to Select, Save Selection, and press OK. We're going to change our background color from black to white. We'll press Control delete or Command delete on a Mac to do this. We're going to duplicate the top layer, so we're going to drag it down to the New Layer icon. We don't need to see the second layer, so we'll hide it. We'll click the New Layer button again to create a new layer. We want to make everything we see now and put it into our new layer. In order to do this, we'll press Control shift alt e or Command shift option e on a Mac. We're going to get rid of all the colors on this layer, so we'll press Control u or Command u on a Mac and slide the saturation down all the way. We're going to increase the contrast and get rid of the middle tones by pressing Control l or Command l on a Mac to bring up the Levels window. We'll slide the input levels until we're happy with the contrast. We'll go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and click on the Halftone Pattern. We'll set the size to 1, contrast to 3, and make sure the pattern type is dot. Press OK. We still need to increase the contrast, so we're going to call up the Levels window. Press Control l or Command l on a Mac. And then we'll slide the input white level down. We'll go to Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. We'll slide the amount all the way to 500 and reduce the radius to about 0.5 pixels. Remember, because each photo is different, the settings may differ from one to the other. We'll click OK. We're going to create a new layer below the top layer. We'll press Control or Command on a Mac as we click on the New Layer button. This immediately creates a new layer. We want to fill this layer with white, which is our background color, to do this, we'll press Alt-Delete or Option-Delete on a Mac. We're going to make the top layer into a selection, so we'll press the Channels tab. We'll click on the Channels button and then go back to Layers. We'll make a new layer by clicking on the New Layer button. And then we'll go to Select, Inverse, which will inverse the selection. We'll press Alt-Delete or Option-Delete on a Mac to fill the selection with black. We'll click on the layer below it and then click on the New Layer button. We'll press Control Delete or Command Delete on a Mac to fill the layer with white. We'll grab the layer of Marilyn Monroe and bring it all the way to the top layer. We'll put the eyeball on to make her visible and then choose the background color. We'll hide that layer and make the layer under Lady Gaga active. This layer will be where we put the colors. We'll press Alt-Delete or Option-Delete on a Mac to fill the background with a foreground color. We'll go back to the top layer and click on her face for the color. We'll go back to the top layer and hide it, and we'll click on the Lady Gaga background and paint in her face. 
We'll go back to the top layer and choose the color for her hair. We'll hide the top layer, click on the Lady Gaga background and paint in her hair. We've painted in her eyes and mouth and now we're painting in her necklace. We'll click on the Marilyn layer again and choose the color of her lips. We'll hide the top layer and make the layer for Gaga active again. We'll get the magnifying tool and magnify up her mouth. We'll paint in her lips now. We purposely went past her lips in order to keep the look and feel of Andy Warhol's portraits. We'll choose the color of her hat which happens to be a slab of raw meat. And here is our finished Lady Gaga pop art poster painting. Have fun creating your own. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Blue Lightning TV. There you'll find great tutorials, tips and tricks in Photoshop and After Effects.